Live, the news on NBC6 South Florida starts now. New tonight, the parents of a boy electrocuted while swimming in his backyard pool are now ready to sue. Who they're blaming for his death in a story you'll see only on 6. Ultimately, that malfeasance and negligence what killed our son, and he's not coming back. Again one day, yeah. I remember there was a... Uh, New tonight, a father seeking justice after his young son was electrocuted in the family pool. You may remember him as Mr. Awesome, the little boy whose death caught South Florida's attention. Now tonight, his family filed a lawsuit, placing blame for the seven-year-old's death. Team 6 investigator Willard Shepard is live from the family's home in North Miami now. With that story, you'll see only on 6. Willard. Well, Adam, tonight this uh, family is reaching out to uh, all families across South Florida uh, who have reached out to them, saying that they really could see themselves in this same kind of situation. We exclusively obtained a copy of this legal action filed just a short time ago, and it names a pool company, the manufacturer, an electrician, and also a person who was at the home doing inspections. They say they were all negligent, and their actions ultimately led to this child's death. It's not that isolated. This is, we're not the first, but we certainly want to be the last. For Chris Sloan, the pain of losing his energetic son Calder will never leave him. April 13th, the seven year old jumped into the water, and a short time later, he was no longer alive. Police say electrocuted. NBC6 exclusively obtained this lawsuit where the family alleges what went so terribly wrong. Sloan blames the company that made the pool light, Minnesota based. Pintair Water Pool and Spa. You put faith in manufacturers to make products that are safe, and you would never fathom that um, these kind of tragedies, you know, could happen. The lawsuit says Pintair failed to use reasonable care in designing, manufacturing, testing, inspecting, and marketing of the pool light and its parts to prevent them from electrocuting Calder Sloan. We've determined that it had to do with the light fixture that was defective as well as uh, lack of grounding and l lack of bonding, uh, which made it a electrical death trap. Sloan's attorney, Irvin Gonzalez, says the pool maintenance company, All Florida Pool and Spa Center, is also at fault by failing to use reasonable care in the inspection and maintenance of the pool and make it safe and warn the Sloans of any defect or maintenance that needed to be done. Just because professionals come out, inspect your pool, and tell you things that are, and you know, that does not mean um, that everything's 100%, as we found out. Calder Sloan is also known as Mr. Awesome. His self-portrait became a rallying point to celebrate how he lived. Gonzalez says the emergency backups failed him. Uh, we know if it had been properly grounded, that even if the light had been defective, it would have caught it, and the circuit breaker and fuse would have knocked it off. We're going to have to live with our son's death for the rest of our lives, and we hope that they themselves now are going to have to live with that and make changes, because the fact is uh, it's pretty evident um, that there are manufacturing defects that were in our light. Now, we uh, made an attempt tonight to reach out to these two pool companies, uh, but uh, we're not able to uh, reach anyone uh, concerning the Florida law. They have uh, 20 days, all of defendants in this lawsuit, to respond to this legal action tonight. Uh, Mr. Sloan will be holding a press conference tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. where he'll be giving out more of his message to the public, to people who have swimming pools in their backyards about what they should do. Also tonight over on our website, uh, the link to contact that family directly that uh, Mr. Austin Awesome, uh, and the uh, charity work that is now being done after Calder Sloan's death. That's the very latest tonight here in North Miami. Willard Shepard, NBC6, South Florida.